Hey, sa mga viewers ng Kurt TV, more power po sa inyo. Our guest speaker is a Brent alumnus from the batch of 2007. He's a graduate of the Ateneo de Manila University with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science and a Master's degree in Public Management from the Ato de Manila School of Government. He's a passionate, humble, and enthusiastic, God-fearing young man who has a wide variety of experience under his belt, mainly in the fields of teaching and government service. He served as a Pasig City Councilor for three years, from 2016 to 2019, and is currently now the Mayor of Pasig City. Let us all welcome Mayor Victor Mariges Vico and Soto. To my fellow Brentonians, the graduating class of 2020, congratulations to you all. I still remember that evening almost 13 years ago, sitting on the right side towards the back near the bleachers in Gym 1, waiting for my name to be called during our graduation ceremony. Now, I'll be completely honest, I can't remember who our commencement speaker was, and in all likelihood, 13 years from now, you'll remember that you had a very unique graduation during these very peculiar times, but who spoke and what they said, everything's going to be a blur. One of my last memories from senior year was a few weeks before graduation. One morning, Mr. Robin showed up to chapel without his mustache, and half the school didn't recognize who he was. Other than that, uh, the only thing I can really remember was that feeling of uncertainty. What's going to happen when I go to college? What am I going to do with my life? And if our batch back in 2007 had that feeling of uncertainty, I can only begin to imagine what you must be going through right now. Graduating upper school in the middle of a worldwide pandemic, in the middle of this massive quarantine that we're in, can't be easy. A lot of you have made plans that will simply have to be delayed. Others will have to be canceled. And given this current state of uncertainty that our world is in, it may be a bit unnerving that you have to make these big life decisions at this point. This COVID-19 pandemic has exposed a lot about ourselves, our society, and the world we live in. It's revealed a lot of the good, but sometimes it feels like it's revealed more of the bad. We see economic inequality, how politics causes division amongst us, how corruption is ingrained in our bureaucracies. And we see how these issues have prevented better response in times of crisis where we should all be working as one. It's clear that our world needs big changes and fast. But I have faith that as we see what's wrong in the world we live in, that as young people, as the next generation of leaders in the Philippines and in the world, that you will be the catalyst of positive change that we so badly need. I know it might sound a bit cliche, but the truth is, if society, if our world is going to get better, there's no one else who's going to do that job but you. Today, as our churches are unable to meet organizations revamping their structures, companies rethinking their business models, governments desperately trying to figure things out, these trials are daunting. But these trials come with great opportunities. Historically, humanity has always bounced back from crises. From pandemics to world wars, we've always come back stronger. And although we don't know how long this particular crisis will last, there's no doubt. We will also bounce back from COVID-19. But there's one big difference between your generation and generations from before. And it's not that your generation is just naturally better. It's not that you're you know, mildly more intelligent or talented. The difference is in your potential to affect change. All generations, especially coming out of crises, have transformed our world to some extent, but your generation has the potential to make changes faster and more efficiently than any other generation has done in the past. Technology is advancing at an exponential pace. This enables us to do more and faster and no one knows how to use it better than you do. For instance, the same organization building that would have taken the likes of Jose Rizal years to accomplish in the 1890s could possibly only take a few weeks with the tools that are available to you right now at your fingertips. While nothing has replaced the importance of face-to-face -face or physical contact with the tools available today, not even a pandemic can stop you. If a pandemic occurred when we were graduating high school, I doubt that we would have been able to have something like this. 
I know that you will find it in you, not just to stay safe, but to stay strong. Don't let any situation dampen your dreams or visions for the future. Rather, I challenge you to find ways to get more connected with your community. All the future money and success you might have will mean next to nothing if we're not connected to other members of society. So find people who share the same values as you do. Connect with them and build things together. Be a catalyst for change together. Reach out to the underprivileged together. Fight for the good that you want to see in this world together. Crises do not define a generation. It is how we respond to these crises that define us. There's never been a great story without adversity. I hope and I pray that as you navigate your way out of high school amidst these trying times and throughout the countless other challenges of the future that may threaten to get in your way, may you always stick to the values and principles that Brent has helped shape in us. I'm so excited to see what you will accomplish in the coming years. Again, to the Brent International School Manila Class of 2020, congratulations and God bless you as you enter this new, exciting, and promising chapter of your lives. Thank you.